I posted a photo of my cellulite on a special forum and begged for advice on how to get rid of it. But the first person to comment on it was my husband. <laughs> I wouldn't train her for all the money in the world. I'm afraid I would get sick. <laughs> Rudy and I were newlyweds, and until then, I managed to hide my terrible body from him. However, the anonymous post on the forum made him suspicious. Can you imagine that huh? there are women hmm? who hide their bodies from their husbands? <laughs> You're not like them, right, my love? <gasps> That's when I realized that my lie wouldn't last forever. The next morning, I slipped out of bed to quickly check the forum. <gasps> Overnight, the photo of my terrible satellite had gone viral. You need plastic surgery immediately. Only one woman expressed sincere words of support. <gasps> Satellite after childbirth is absolutely okay. But the problem was <gasps> that I'd never been pregnant. I ordered to keep Rudy from noticing anything disgusting. I started wrapping my legs with clean film. As soon as I'd done with one leg, honey, <gasps> where's the clean film? Rudy used to wrap himself in it whenever he went jogging to burn fat. I assured him that I would rush to the store and buy a new one. Wasting no time, I went to the medical center instead. <gasps> I still don't understand where you ran off to. At least, send me a picture of your nimble legs. His insistence prompted me to sign the consent form. Your husband will appreciate your efforts, trust me. Oh, if only Rudy knew what I went through for him. When I weighed 300 pounds and fell in love with him. I quickly lost weight, so I could ask him out. Yet. The rapid weight loss led to a new problem, cellulite. The moment I walked out of the surgeon's office, Rudy was waiting in the hallway. And it was definitely not a coincidence. That evening, I chose the best defense as offense tactic and asked him what he was doing near the clinic. <clears throat> I'm preparing for a competition, so I stopped by to get some tests done. Plus, you still haven't sent me a photo of your legs. So, I brought you this. It was some incredibly luxurious and revealing lingerie that Rudy wanted to see me in before leaving for the event. Make sure the lights are on so I can remember it for the whole week.
Then I rushed to the bathroom to try it on. <gasps> oh my god! This is a disaster! It exposed everything I was trying to hide. Meanwhile, Rudy had already settled in bed and was waiting for me. Uh, finally, we'll have a perfect evening and enjoy each other's perfect bodies, my love. I knew the moment would come, but not that night. So I secretly slipped away to the basement and turned off the main switch. I lied, blaming the bad weather for the electrical problems. Hmm? Don't worry, sweetheart. It will be even more romantic this way. I couldn't let that happen because in the candlelight, my satellite would look even worse. Like moon craters. To prevent Rudy from lighting the candles, I jumped on him, completely <gasps> skipping foreplay. The following day, I sent Rudy a message from the hospital room. I'm preparing a big surprise for my champion. After saying goodbye to him, I went into the operating room with a light heart. But as they were taking me down the hall, I saw a fellow surgery patient on a gurney. Much to my surprise, it was my husband. <gasps> he also noticed me, so I asked the doctor to give us a moment alone. What are you doing here? You just sent me a picture with a cup. Having no other choice, my husband came clean. Due to excess fat, he was suspended from the competition. Therefore, he was there for a liposuction. I was afraid that he would leave me, so I was hiding it. Rudy was sure that I only loved him because he was a cool bodybuilder. In reality, that wasn't at all important to me. I became a fan of bodybuilding, just to meet you, my love. For the very first time, I pulled off the blanket and showed Rudy what my body really looked like. <gasps> Upon realizing that having an imperfect body was normal, he changed his attitude towards <gasps> cellulite. <gasps> he even suggested that we should cancel our surgeries. After that, he went into a new business helping others accept their bodies. As for me, I was able to easily recommend Rudy as a coach because I successfully completed his course. <laughs> the standard of perfection is a continuously moving target, but self-love is a constant that never fades.